Welcome back, aspiring entrepreneurs. In this video, you're going to learn four different sales psychology strategy that has helped me to make $10,000 as a salesman, student, and a SMMA owner. These strategies have also helped businesses worldwide transform customers into loyal clients. I promise you that if you watch this video till the end and apply them in your business, you will significantly boost your sales potential. Now, let's get started. First off, reciprocity. What exactly is reciprocity? Simply put, it's the art of give and take. When you offer something like an apple for free, the recipient feels a natural obligation to return the favor. Have you ever received a Christmas gift from someone you didn't expect and felt that immediate urge to reciprocate? That's reciprocity in action. So, for example, imagine marketing a product. You decide to include a small, unexpected gift with each purchase. This simple act can trigger a profound psychological response, compelling the receiver to make additional purchases or spread positive word of mouth about your brand. A sociologist named Felix conducted an experiment. He sent 600 handwritten Christmas cards to complete strangers and received an astonishing 200 responses. This experiment powerfully demonstrates the impact of reciprocity in human interactions. Strongly recommend you to leverage this principle in your marketing strategy, whether it's through collecting leads via a compelling freebie or including a personal note with a discount code in your product packaging. The power of reciprocity can significantly enhance your customer relationships and substantially your sales. So in conclusion, reciprocity is a powerful tool in sales psychology. It's about building genuine connections and instilling a sense of mutual benefits between you and your customers. Use it wisely and watch your customers' engagement and your sales soar in 2024. Next, curiosity sparking the desire to explore more. Just like a cat's insatiable need to explore, we can captivate these natural human traits to draw potential customers towards our content, ads, and offers. It's about creating an irresistible itch that they just have to scratch. For example, consider crafting headlines that tense the mind, like the secret ingredients to a century-old life or why this odd trick can double your productivity. These headlines don't reveal everything. Instead, they create a knowledge gap that the reader is compelled to fill by engaging with your content. Studies have shown that headlines that evoke curiosity can lead to a 73% increase in click-through rates on articles. Strongly recommend you to master the art of creating curiosity, whether it's through intriguing headlines content that gradually unfolds a story or premises of revealing more within the content. Make your audience feel the irresistible urge to know more. In conclusion, curiosity isn't just a trait. It's a powerful marketing tool. By understanding and leveraging it, you can dramatically increase engagement with your content, driving more traffic to your website and ultimately boosting your sales. Next up, scarcity. Scarcity is a powerful psychology trigger. It's based on the principle that people desire what is in short supply. This feeling of urgency and the fear of missing out can significantly influence buying behavior by highlighting that this product is exclusive or have a limited availability. You can drive immediate action and decision making from your customers. For example, imagine you're selling a unique product with only a limited quantity available. By conveying that scarcity, only three left in stock, you can tap into the customer's fear of missing out, prompting quicker purchase decision. Similarly, time-limited offers, sales ends in two hours, create a sense of urgency, pushing the customer to act fast, to not miss out on the opportunity. Studies indicate that products indicating low stock levels by 332%. This illustrates the compelling impact of scarcity on consumer behavior. Strongly recommend you to incorporate scarcity tactics 
wisely in your marketing strategy. Use countdown timers, highlighting low stock levels, or create exclusive time-limited offers. Ensure your message conveys a sense of urgency, but remain genuine and transparent. In conclusion, scarcity is a powerful tool when used ethically and effectively. It can create a compelling sense of urgency, driving sales and enhancing the perceived value of your offerings. Remember, the key is to balance the sense of urgency with authenticity. Next one, social proof. Social proof revolves around the concept that people are influenced by the actions, attitudes and endorsements of others. It's a psychological phenomenon where people conform to be liked, accepted or validated. In the context of sales, showing how others have benefited from your product or service can significantly sway potential customers' decision. For example, when shopping online, customers often look at the product reviews and ratings before making a purchase. By displaying positive reviews, testimonials or case studies, you highlight the satisfaction and trust others have in your product, encouraging new customers to make a purchase. According to a survey, nearly 70% of online consumers look at a product review before making a purchase. Additionally, products with positive reviews have a 12.5% higher conversion rate compared to those without. So I strongly recommend you to harness the power of social proof by incorporating customer testimonials, user reviews, and case studies into your marketing materials. Highlight endorsement from satisfied customers, industry experts, or influencers to build trust and credibility with your customers. In conclusion, social proof is an influential factor in the decision-making process. By effectively showcasing the positive experiences of others, you can enhance trust, reduce uncertainty, and encourage potential customers to take action. Use social proof to your advantage and watch your sales and customer loyalty grow. Drop a comment below and let us know how do you plan to implement these strategies in your business and which sales psychology is your favorite. And this is all for today's video. Thank you all for staying to the end. Kindly like this video if you have learned anything from it and comment any questions you have. Have a nice day ahead. See you next time.